Lots of lies at the bottom of an empty glass, but sometimes you find something like the truth. How poetic yeah, about too alcohol. Cynical for me. How do I get through there? Or we're rocketing Groot picking up a job. Look that way, yeah. You don't really think he's serious about quitting, do you? You'll cool off. I think. Give him a regular mission or two, it'll be fine. I'm just an illusion. A spectre. I'm not really here. I couldn't tell. You look real enough to me. You wanna know another secret? Something big is happening. Something great. Do you wanna hear about it? If you're trying to calm me into buying you around, it's not gonna work. She doesn't want to talk again. Okay. Uh, excuse me. This says this is an automatic door that opens when approached, and it does no such thing. Is that relevant? Am I supposed to press three buttons? A G, G, and then a downward facing G? I'm telling you, this plan can't fail. My guy got us the patrol routes. Nova won't be anywhere around. I think you're overconfident. Those plants are probably out of date already. You're giving Nova too much credit. It's basically a skeleton force now. They're still all connected together. All it takes is someone to notice, and they all go on alert. If you don't want in on the job, that's fine. Save your cut for me. I wonder what's in there. Oh well. Maybe we'll loop back around at some point. Let's get out of here. See, this door opens just fine. Let's try again. Maybe now that I've left to come back. I'm not thirsty. Neither am I. Then focus on our mission and not thirst. Maybe the door's locked until later on. Maybe we come back and Rocket's doing something. Although I've got a feeling we're not going to be walking back through here anytime soon. I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Gamora? Uh, Did they all on. ditch me? Guys! I'm just the guardian Let's of the galaxy. Let's go talk to Cosmo alone. Rude. not looking forward to being the collector. He's been a jerk a lot of times. The collector's important. Well, I guess I could check it out. back here. I was kind of ignoring it because I thought it was referring to the components that were inside the bar. <laughs> yeah, you're too curious about it, huh? Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Looks like you've got a lot of parts here. Just about everything. Mostly. Refurbished, of course. Hard to get new equipment since the war. Well... You looking for something particular? I wonder if you have something I could use to remove, uh... Nova Corps Disabler. 7, 8, 12 series. 2G2, maybe? Ah, nope. That one's decommissioned. I know. I got something that should work no matter what. I need a pricing. On second thought, I better let my tech guy make the decisions. If he ever comes back. Send him by when you can. Yeah, we're not going to make... I, I'm trying to avoid spending any units unless it's like, OMG, get like huge perk upgrades right here. Opponents, fight. The black hole. As long as you're dancing beside me. Of course I will. We're the toe tappers. I still think we need to workshop the name. The name isn't as important as the moves, and we've got those. Guy pal, no loners. This is a couples and groups only kind of place. That's fucking fine. I don't have any friends. They've all left me. This place must be good. Look at the line to get in. Hard work keeping this place up and running. But it's one of the only honest jobs available. Like I always say, shortcuts end up hurting you more than helping. Why do you always say that? Try to remember it. Five million? Imagine what you could do with that. Pay off the thing, Jack. Pay Corral, fix up the Milano, give the team a huge bonus. Are you ready to buy the jackpot of a lifetime? How will I know if I win? You are encouraged to return to nowhere to verify your ticket. After verification, and an excessive verification fee, the jackpot will be transferred to your account. No. <laughs> I'd hate to win and then not show up on time to claim the prize. I'll pass. It's also a thousand units for a lottery ticket? I'm good. Make sure you don't cause any trouble. You won't get any special treatment, Terry. You're wrong about that. Me and Cosmo understand each other. Cosmo might understand you, but you have no idea what he's about. That's okay. I mean, we can just meet him up later on. Her so many side conversations. That guy's in trouble. it's directly off limits. I'm not risking my life in jail to see some ruins. What happened to you? You used to be so full of life. Oh, jeez. Don't find me. I'm just looking for my lost ticket. You don't suppose you could help me? I'll make it worth your while. Nice try, but I'm not falling for that. Not again, anyway. If you aren't going to help, then get out of here. Give me away with you. All right, let's see what's going on in the Collector's Emporium. Welcome to the Emporium gift shop. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler, have arrived at the illustrious Emporium. Private collection of Tanelir Tivan. The premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. 
He wishes to share them with Great the common people. Would you, would you like to take the tour? I'd love a tour. Oh, I have this. I think I get in for free, right? Oh my, you must be a very important person. Mr. t does not give these out very, very, very often. Please enjoy the Emporium. Sweet! Alright! Thank you, Lipless! What is this place? You have stumbled into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objets d'art, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, oh, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? Oh, whoa. This one's 50,000. This one's 15,000. What is this? It's not a doll, but I think she'd like this. With how you described her? No, not at all. What about this? Oh, whoa. What's this? Well, that is much too expensive for you. It's just the right kind of creepy. Wait, I just want to ask about it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. Uh, I hope the group isn't mad at me for spending t half of what remains. Of the Emporium. Oh, cool. Richard Ryder's Nova Helmet. Richard Ryder, leader of the Galactic War Resistance and hero to countless races. The man so embodies Nova Corps that he rebuilt it from its ashes and chose Nova as his own moniker. Typically, I do not associate with law enforcement, but this relic was donated by Ryder himself just prior to his disappearance. You see before you his original helmet, which has a direct connection to the Xandarian world mind. Ryder claimed he upgraded to a new helmet with its own Nova Force reactor to make the world mind shut up. I think he enjoyed the idea of them blabbing away in some stupid museum. Delightful. What is this I thing? Anyways, it. ultimate nullifier. Oh yes, the most destructive weapon in the entire universe, and I have it on loan from Galactus. In the hands of an immensely powerful being with an exceptional mind like Galactus, the nullifier could detonate entire solar systems, even timelines. Holy shit! Perhaps even reality itself. I have been entrusted with this temporary safekeeping, though I hope the world devourer will forget he left it with me. If I were to ever attempt to use it, he would instantly summon it back to himself. So feel free to admire the potential end of life as we know it while it is still in my possession. Wow, whew, okay. Well, this looks like it's from There's Earth. No way! Superhuman Registration Act. Many of my visitors pass right by this simple document, but you have a keen eye. It is actually a prophecy transcribed in trance by the froth, uh, frothing monks of Seknar V. One should take it as a warning since the prophecies are rarely wrong. This one speaks of a world where those gifted with powers right uh, uh, power, uh, uh, with powers fight amongst themselves, divided in a bloody civil war that will risk the destruction of everything they swore to protect. You may uh, may wish such a thing does not come to pass, but its value will increase exponentially if it does. I will cheer for this civil war. Huh, interesting. Hofun, Sword of Heimdall. Master crafted by the dwarves of uh, Nidavellir, this Odin blessed sword was gifted to his gatekeeper, Heimdall. Any god wielded weapon in the centerpiece is in one's collection, but Hofen possesses numerous magical talents, including the ability to open the Rainbow Bifrost Bridge to any of the Nine Realms. A shame it's not in mint condition, but if you look closely, you may be able to spot the hate-filled bloodstains of Mangog on its broken blade. Hmm. I wonder what's happened in this particular universe. Yaka Arrow. 
a rare Centaurian weapon added to my collection with the arrest of the Ravager Pirate Lord Yandu Udantu, Udanta. These deadly arrows can be propelled and directed to tear through enemy forces with specific whistle pitches from its wielder. The opponent now knows to aim for the mouth or face swift destruction from these swift or nasty little, little things. It is unknown whether races outside of the Centauri can command such a device, but feel free to whistle at it and see what happens. I assure you, all are safe within these walls. I'm surprised it doesn't react more to that. No way! How'd they get that? God's my glasses. If you see a relic before you, you're in luck! Occasionally, a pair of lenses manifest eyewear that belongs to a powerful cosmic entity seemingly capable of being anywhere in the galaxy at any given time. He has appeared throughout history in multiple worlds, and I suspect he will continue to do so throughout the future as well. Though we do not know his motives, many believe this mysterious being has had a profound impact on our galaxy. Excelsior. Aww. Stan Lee's glasses, I assume? Oh, it wasn't here. Hmm. That's not good. Brood Queen. You see before you the deadliest of specimens taken from Brood World, an infant queen embryo extracted from her unfortunate host. Within that armored skull lies a fully developed predatory brain, eager to conquer us all and use our bodies as breeding grounds for her parasitic spawn. I assure you, she is heavily sedated and quite harmless now. But please do not tap on the glass. Oh shit! Someone took that right Fancy. from you! Fjogulner. It's easy to underestimate the raw power of this relic due to its minuscule size. Fogulner is said to be an unintentional gift from the Asgardian God of Thunder, or rather his goat, whose errant hoof strike chipped off a tiny piece of Thor's own hammer. Though I'd rather have a full-size Mjolnir in my collection, Fogulner did grant its bearer powers identical to Thor himself. It is also ridiculously adorable. Even with High's formula, I cannot lift it. <laughs> I don't get it. Kalig... Caligiostro's book. Il libro di Caligiostro. Rolls right off the tongue, but beware not to speak the forbidden words within lest you summon extra planar fiends. This legendary spell book is a trove of miraculous magic, unspeakable curses, and unthinkable peril. Mine is more than just a copy, spawned directly from the original in some weird self preservation ritual. You could say that I safeguard the backup copy, should the original ever tear a hole, a hole in reality itself and wink out of existence. Cool. Kinda neat. Eye of the Watcher. Whoa. This oversized orb is the plucked Eye of a Watcher, one of the universe's oldest and most powerful races. Their decision to intervene on behalf of less advanced worlds once resulted in great catastrophe. So they have taken a permanent vow to not meddle in our affairs. Apparently, someone meddled in theirs, presumably to harness the Watcher's incomprehensible powers. It is safe for now in my collection, content to return your gaze. Does it see you back, I wonder? Eh, it, does it doesn't look at me. We're fine. No way. Kang? Get that? Kang's time chair. Everything about this chair and the man who sat in it is soaked in temporal anomaly. Don't worry, I've had it thoroughly cleaned. Constructed by a scientist from the far future, this magnificent device allowed him to build a violent legacy stretching backwards and forwards across time. Calling himself Kang the Conqueror, his time stream manipulation united thousands of alternate Kangs who created warring councils of Kang. I was able to procure this device after two Kangs killed each other. Finders keepers, jeez. The Tesseract? Oh, cool. Cosmic Cube. What if you could wish for anything? This Cosmic Cube would bend reality itself to make it so. It is perhaps the most important part of my collection, as I have used it to secure each of my artifacts in protective pocket realities. You may look, but you have no hope of ever touching. I will not wish more from it because it whispers to me with the voices of past owners, including one of a particularly infernal temperament. I am content to admire from afar. It's like, I got what I wanted from it. We're done here. Fancy. Blade of Ica. Perhaps Blades of Ica, or Icor, is a more appropriate descriptor since this divine weapon can be divided or reconfigured into multiple lethal instruments due to its divine liquid metal core. Before I was able to procure them, they were wielded by an angel from heaven. Or was she an Asgardian, queen of hell? One thing is clear. Aldrif, Odin's daughter, Angela for short, used the Blades of Ica to sever countless limbs from sinners and heathens across the galaxy. She would not hesitate to claim my own limbs, should she and her weapons be reunited. Huh, interesting. Mandarin's rings. Ten potent weapons, one for each finger. Crafted from gems that once belonged to a mighty Mal Malkluian dragon race. It is said that each contains the soul of a legendary warrior, and each has a unique power. The real fun comes in combinations. Darkness and extreme cold, or fire and blinding light. Perhaps a lightning-filled vortex. Disintegrate a foe while controlling their mind. Blow them up and then put them back together. The Mandarin was not eager to part with these rings. 
but my hired help was able to take them off his hands. As long as you didn't take the whole hands with him, I guess. What was this? Dude, no way! Monster from Planet X! This one hurts. I used to be in possession of the galaxy's last floral colossi, the sole survivor of Planet X's destruction. The enormous plant creature called itself Groot, often. During its escape, I was able to sever and retain a small piece of its wooden body. You may see a simple sprout. I see the potential to regrow my lost prize, though he will be far less pre precious with the original running loose. Groot! That's so interesting. I don't get it. Raptor amulet. Truly a strange fruit, plucked from the Tree of Shadows in Null Space. The Shia fraternity of raptors use these mysterious amulets to swap their biological bodies for cybernetic ones. Ooh. With these sleek battle suits, the raptors were gifted with rapid interstellar travel, extreme strength, resilience, regeneration, and destructive energy blasts. I am told it will also, also tune you into the Data Song, a type of shared consciousness. I do not like to share, so the amulet remains safely on display. Cool. I like it. What the fuck? Is that a... Thor frog? Hey. No way! How frog. Did I get that? Frog. Frog of thunder. You might think this is the god of thunder transformed into a frog. It is actually a frog transformed into the god of thunder. One of several gods of thunder, to be precise. This tiny fellow packs quite a punch, matched only by his thunder's croak. Captured after decimating an entire Badoon fleet with one throw of his mighty hammer, Frogloner has I selflessly bailed him out a prisoner and found him a permanent home here in my collection. If he tells you otherwise, do not listen. As guardians are known for the devilish pranks, jeez. Kinda neat. Fire Lord's Cosmic Staff. Burning with the intensity of a solar flare at each end, this artifact channels the power cosmic and was originally wielded by hot-headed Herald of Galactus. Its former owner, Fire Lord, once scouted the galaxy for the War Devourer's next meal. At some point, they must have had a falling out because I was able to procure this gorgeous implement of destruction for the low price of an entire planet. I would have gone as high as three. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Snowbird's Tiara. The Tiara of Narya, a mystical shape changer conceived to battle the great beasts menacing her homelands. Rebranded as Snowbird, Narya fought alongside a team of superpowered Terrans named Alpha Flight. However, as a spiritual protector of her territory, she was unable to leave its borders. That is, without the device you see before you. I am told its components were built from the very soil of Canada, which allows her to carry her home with her. Regrettably, she has not shown up to claim it, so it remains a part of my collection. <laughs> I know nothing about it, but all right. Fancy. Hide formula. Occasionally, the Terran mind is capable of exceptional brilliance. Take Calvin Zaba, for example. Through chemistry, Zaba believed he could push the human body beyond its accepted limits and created this potent serum. Upon imbibement, his musculature, uh, musculature rapidly expanded, enabling his brutish alter ego, Mr. Hyde, to hold his own against some of, the gr of Earth's greatest champions. Sabo now wastes away in a Terran prison, but I wasn't going to let this serum go to waste as well. I mean, you are. You're just kind of letting it sit here. Right, cool. We got a doll for Gamora. Hopefully she enjoys it. We had a fun time just kind of examining all the things in the museum without getting killed by the collector, which is what I thought would happen. Trash can. Trash can. Can't boost from my phone. We are hiring all the mining leaks if you're looking for work. Someone's gotta keep this place up and running. Got a uh, job, thanks. I'm good, yeah. See, if I can hire three more workers, I go up the pay scale. And I don't have to work as hard. I think you better work on your sales pitch. <laughs> This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. 
Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no graft, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up to milk. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Sure, all right, let's play. Fine. I'm in, but don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See, the ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Make your choice, Captain. Middle. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. Whoa. See, my game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as a tack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Sure, I got a thousand Start out of that. Shuffling. Get ready to oh shit, out. I paid a thousand five hundred for- oh That's shit. That's what I like to see. Keep your eye on the cup with the ball. Here we go, Captain. Middle cup. The ball's in the middle. <gasps> what? Oh no. What? That's too bad, Captain. Looks like you lose. Positive that's where the ball was. The eyes play tricks. Sometimes the mind can't keep up. Something tells me it's not my eyes playing tricks. A nasty bob, Captain. Thanks for the letters. Have yourself a fun day. Hey, wait. What? Come back here. What? What? I was robbed. I was robbed. Oh my god. My money. Oh my god! He fucking took my money! Oh shit! That's. I knew there'd be a trick, but I didn't think it would be literally take my money and leave instantly. I thought it'd be like, oh, it goes, it like instantly teleports and you have to really try hard. Fuck! You must have a good nose. All I can smell is the brains. Who the fuck is down here? Oh. More text. <laughs> ah, hide formula. Oh, wait, what? That's not. Oh, that's not what we're trying to read. What? Really? Oh, yeah, this. Oh, the. What? There's a completely different text behind this. But the hide formula text is blocking it. Okay, where the hell am I? It put me right outside the bar. So... Maybe... Maybe I have all my money back? I might have to go back and buy the doll. Now the brain's still gone. All right, that's fine. Can I read this now? Yes, I can. Okay, Ruby Thursday. Lip, baby, I'm pleased to see our numbers trending up. And I think you thought you were finished after that business on my Lilia. Didn't I tell you there was more money in exotic materials than you'd ever make in your dingy flop house? Won't be long before every elder in the galaxy is asking for their pound of flesh. We'll be the ones to provide it. Keep it up, and that moon will be ours in no time. I'm counting on you, yours, Rubes. Is that Lipless's partner? Huh. Oh. Feels like a fighting arena. 